it's me it's Emma McIntosh I hope you guys have a great start of the day thank you for joining me in another daily words of wisdom let's take a look at today's quote okay so so many of us struggle with the idea of perfectionism people feel like they need to be perfect in every aspect of their life really you know just the way that they look the way their body looks um, how they perform in their jobs you know even their grades when you're going to school um, sometimes even their marriages there you know it needs to have that perfect family look what people expect of a family and 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 they even go to the extremes where they start to criticize um, their own feelings and their own mental state and their own thoughts and so nothing is ever good enough for people who struggle with perfectionism and I used to be one of those people <laughs> everything needed to be a certain way I had to step away from that if I wanted to find happiness and you know it really is a form of uh, excessive self-criticism. Now, where does this drive to be perfect really come from? Because striving for perfection will really only result in self-sabotaging. It usually leads to um, self-defeating thoughts or behaviors that makes it even harder to achieve your goals. And it'll also cause a lot of stress and anxiety, depression, and, and sometimes even results into uh, mental health issues. Well, I think it really comes from a place of not feeling good enough, experiencing a lack of self-love and a lack of self-acceptance. And it also comes from a very deep rooted fear of failure, I believe. And sometimes, you know, this need for perfection started during your childhood. You know, either you had a parent who was exhibiting perfectionistic behavior themselves or you've experienced a childhood where being perfect resulted in love. Your parents, for example, would express <clears throat> disapproval when your efforts did not result in perfection. And the only way for you to receive that very much needed affection and, and, and those expressions of love from them was by being perfect in every way. You know, in a way pushing your child to succeed in every area of its life or, you know, pushing them to be perfect to some kind of extent, it can be considered as abuse because it really destroys their sense of self-acceptance and their sense of self-love and self-worth and self-appreciation, you know, because we are all created by God's source and we are all created in a perfect way for us to be in this journey. So, you know, sometimes it can happen in other relationships as well. You know, you want to be perfect in that relationship with your spouse or your place of employment, you know, could push you that perfectionistic excellence uh, needs to be achieved if you want to move up into the company. So um, other reasons could be, you know, uh, mental health issues like OCD. I'm not saying that every person who is perfectionistic has OCD, not at all. But um, having OCD could turn into being, you know, perfectionistic. And it could just be that, you know, and I think that's for me the case. Um, I was afraid of failure. I was afraid of not mounting up to anything. I was afraid of, because I felt so lost for so long. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know why I was here. You know, I just experienced a lot of doubt and, 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 and distrust in the world and in people. And so I really placed this need to be perfect in, in every way or form upon me because I thought that was the only way for me to achieve uh, anything to really mount up to anything so it could be different reasons why you're perfectionistic but either way the spiritual lesson behind perfectionism is to work on self-acceptance and self-love to really learn to surrender um, to what is and find beauty and value in all that is including in everything that you are at this moment so it's really about 
um, achieving total self-acceptance and, you know, loving everything you love about yourself, but also appreciating everything you don't love about yourself. Um, it's about full full blown on acceptance of who you are and seeing the beauty and value in everything that you do, whether or not it is according to your standards, perfect or not, there is value and love and, um, purpose in everything that you do. So, you know, you can have drive, you can have self-discipline, you can have ambition, you can have passion. Those are all beautiful qualities that will manifest into the success that you're seeking. But my advice is to release the need for perfection because what might look perfect in, in one person's eyes might not seem perfect in another person's eyes. So perfection is really about perspectives. So release the need for perfection because it only leads to disappointments because it comes from a seed of fear and it comes from your ego. And as I've said before, the ego is never satisfied. So release that need um, and you'll see that success can come uh, when we focus on the right kind of emotions and unfortunately perfectionism really is a fearful emotion so we can only attract more fearful experiences from that need for perfection so I hope you guys got some inspiration today I will see you guys uh, tomorrow bye guys